What is going on, my fellow humans? We are here to talk about which candidate you want to vote for. And I really want your feedback on this. Um, there's a real dilemma going on here. So I'm just going to recap very quickly this being the final <coughs> presidential debate tonight uh, happening now. <clears throat> I really want to know, guys, what you think. And just to recap the pros and cons, a lot of people love Trump because of his complete blunt honesty. They just love it. He doesn't seem to be hiding and manipulating uh, anything. He just says whatever's on his mind, and people love that. Uh, with Hillary, they hate the fact that she's sneaky, changing what she says, uh, doesn't own up or admit it until she's caught, um, you know, and uh, they don't believe her. They think she's a liar. Then there are people on the exact opposite end of the spectrum who say, hey, wait a second, Trump's going to start World War III. He's ready to bomb everybody. He brings out all the hate and negativity in everybody. This is dangerous. If we have Trump, he's the worst of the two evils, better take the lesser of the two evils, which is Hillary. Then there are other people who say, wait a second, Hillary is wonderful, the first female president. She has experience, like, from her husband, Bill Clinton. Uh, she's learned a lot, and she could run the country, and Trump doesn't have the experience. Then, with the terrible scandal that happened with Trump uh, being on the bus with Billy Bush, uh, talking about grabbing women's private parts, and he actually said it, and things like that, and then he says, oh, it's just locker room talk, and things like that. Um, you know, a lot of people say, hey, that's unacceptable. That's impossible for someone to speak that way and be president. And then other people are saying, hey, listen, most of the presidents have spoken that way. They just weren't caught publicly doing it. So this is a real problem because, you know, nobody seems to be 100% for either of these candidates. Um, and that's a real problem. Uh, I know that there's a majority or, I'm sorry, I should, I should say a minority amount of people who are supportive of each of them, but the majority is very unhappy with these two people as our choices, and they feel that they are being forced down our throats. Uh, what happened to Bernie Sanders? Bernie Sanders, everybody seemed to really uh, vote for and want and support, but obviously the powers that be, these two right here, have taken over. Uh, then there's all the voter fraud. <laughs> scandal that just came out today uh, where they actually proved how it's being done and they avoid bussing people in and they're creating these kind of uh, shell companies and fake IDs and paying people in the mentally ill. Uh, they said, um, if you look on uh, YouTube, what's trending, you know, that they pay them to vote for who they want to manipulate the vote in Hillary's campaign. Uh, then they're, they're saying there's probably having something similar in Donald's, which they're trying to expose as well. Wow, guys, you know, I really, really, really think that when we have candidates, that the majority of people need to really love both of them. They need to love and be behind both of them. They shouldn't be ashamed to say that they love one or the other and get chewed out for it. So I'd really, really, really like very thoughtful comments from you guys. Tell me your pros and cons for each candidate that you see here today. Why should we vote for Trump? Why should we vote for Hillary? Why shouldn't we vote for Trump? And why shouldn't we vote for Hillary? I want to hear pros and cons from you guys. And let's have a really smart intellectual conversation about this and figure out the pros and cons and what we got to do. And let's help those undecided voters. And for those who think there's no point to vote because they just feel the whole thing is corrupt, what do we do about that? So guys, I'm really looking forward to your feedback. I'm looking forward to your comments. Please make sure to subscribe for updates. Uh, I really want to uh, update you guys on this. So let's talk soon and uh, to be continued.